Oh, oh hey, a full wig to you too. <laughs> Isn't he in Harry Potter? <laughs> that was Nagini, the bring me old Heffel wig. That was uh, Heffelwig was the uh, was the first owl that Harry got, but they had to put him <laughs> down because he had he had autism <laughs> or something. Yeah, avian rabies. Avian rabies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can beards get rabies? Beards. I don't no, think beards, beards can get rabies. <laughs> beards. Beards get rabies. Why would beards get rabies? <laughs> I've got a rabid beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sneaking. Your rabies, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's infected. Up. <laughs> He's infected. He's got the avian rabies in his beard. You are now listening to the West Coast of Angels mixtape. Afghanistan with a rifle in his hand Straight out of school, 18, head in the sky Like he's been listening to Ready to Die Cause he never had a suicidal thought Till he came back, Kevlar vest Canteen on his back, he knows the old saying Don't fire till you see the white of his eyes He knows the other side, he despised Indoctrinated by the politics Hatred spewed on Fox Cable News Talk to taking his life and giving everything Back to Uncle Sam, understand I work at this kill man Hello and welcome to the Attack of the 50 Foot Nerds podcast. This week it's a 50 foot commentary and uh, in, as always I will introduce myself. My name is Mike Bell and with me is my war machine of a co-host. Andy Weirs. That's him. Yes, and I couldn't think of an entertaining name. James Rhodes, Colonel James Rhodes. No. Um, no. Anyway, if you've not guessed by Spider-Man. now, Man. <laughs> we'll do an Iron Man 2 this week, which is uh, the continuing, um, our continuing um, Marvel sort of Power. journey through the Marvel yeah. Cinematic Universe. I was going to say Power Hour, and then I realised, well, slightly more than that. It's, it's about uh, two hours. Um, so yes, we're going to be making our way through the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as we've done we did Iron Man and Incredible Hulk previously, and we're doing Iron Man 2 today. So the one Andy... after this will be Thor, wouldn't it? Yes, it will. Yeah. Uh, we will get to that sooner or later, I'm sure. <laughs> if you, everyone wants to get the... Uh, well, me and Andy are watching on Netflix. Uh, so if you want to get it to just after the Paramount logo, which and uh, everything turns to black, uh, that's uh, for us it's 21 seconds. Hopefully your DVDs are the same if you're watching on DVD. If not, Netflix. It's brilliant. Okay, so are you ready, sir? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, well, in that case, in three, two, one. <laughs> it's the Marvel logo floating in. Yep. And the people are already talking at us. Yep. And they were talking at us before the pause mark as well, which is slightly annoying. Yeah. It's almost as annoying as another movie we, tr- we attempted to... Uh, well, we we will talk about that when we get back to doing that movie. Don't we? Yeah. Yes. That's, uh, that's, Meanwhile, that's... in Russia, I notice all those walls are built at an angle. <laughs> oh, God. Are we in Russia or are we on Battlefield Earth? <laughs> no, I'm uh, like... <laughs> I was watching Iron Man whilst you were learning to spill your name! <laughs> Fuck my walls! No! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in a room, my door doesn't work, so I'll just sleep here. <laughs> Why did she leave me? I fought my bird. <laughs> I was the wrestler. 
Rain di di rain. Look at my lips. <laughs> oh God, he's going to snog the old man. <laughs> I thought that was the, what the old man was saying to him. <laughs> what? Look, look at my lips. <laughs> Kiss me, you fool. <laughs> Sounds like he's got beard rabies too. <laughs> Maybe he has. Damn, Anthony Hopkins is dead. Looks like I'll have to eat his flesh now. <laughs> Wait a minute. Anthony Hopkins can't be dead. He must just be the Odin sleep. Mm. Mm. Foreshadowing, foreshadowing. This reminds me, I should probably have brought my vodka. Yeah, I should have brought him as well. It's in the kitchen. He's just turned yeah. Super Saiyan. Yeah. What the fuck is that man? He's like, my father's died, therefore I must build some sort of rotor. <laughs> oh, a night reactor. Whatever. Anton Van Gogh. So what takes Tony Stark? Bi- actually, I was no, I was just about to contradict me stuff. Then I was going to say, what takes Tony Stark billions of dollars of scientific research to create? He can knock up in his in his in his flat. But I just remembered that actually Tony Stark built one in a cave. <laughs> yeah, I, w- I was I was about to say technically, Tony. It makes perfect sense because Tony Stark built his in a cave out yeah. of all parts. I think this 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 shot is kind of echoing back to Iron Man one. And when he's yeah, it's also echoing back to the Iron Man cartoon, like intro. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. What's that line name? Where they, where they, um, what's his what's his name? Forgets his line all way through in Iron Man one. It's like Tony Stark built this to the cave, out of spare parts. <laughs> oh, it always makes I can't fun. remember. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He just he just forgets his line all way through. He's like, oh shit, I better say the rest of it. Person of the Year, Iron Man. I'll tell you what, this series of Breaking Bad saying is a bit, a bit different, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Secret <laughs> Origins of Tom from MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was MySpace, but I'm accompanied by Tom. Who is this Tom? I originally called it my bird. <laughs> <laughs> it's alive! With the sound of music. <laughs> Finally, my homemade torch is complete. Now I can be a green lantern. <laughs> Or a blue lantern, as the case may be. Well, he's Russian. He'd be the red lantern. Rock! I don't want to live anymore! No, he's jumping... What you can't it's, it's see, he's jumping... from that face. Dude from space. Mm. No, he's jumped out the plane, but what you can't see is that he's jumped out of, uh, he's jumped out after the depressed guy from Death Race 2000 who jumped out of a plane <laughs> earlier going, they won't let me be run over, so I'm going to jump out of this plane. I wanted to be Iron Man, but they said I couldn't be Iron Man, and I want to be Iron Man, so I can't live anymore. <laughs> Cause splat. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Tell me when you first saw that. You did when he was rushing towards the ground. Your first thought wasn't. I wonder if it will be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ground. Bang. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. I can spend billions on something that's really meaningless and pointless. But hey, it looks good, and there are semi-naked women. Kind of dressed like Iron Man, but not really. No, 
The one Ladies thing I don't... gentlemen, I give you science. <laughs> the one thing I um, I find it's like sure I can believe he'll he'll have a giant like, amount of armor mm-hmm. and be flying around all over the place. I believe that he can build an arc reactor in a cave. What I mm-hmm. I, I refuse to believe is that he can put all that on and still have his suit look pristine underneath it. Why do you think he could call him Iron Man? Oh yeah, <laughs> like yeah. what his um his suit his, 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 Iron his Man suit, suit has a built-in Corby trouser press. Yeah, it's just a flying Corby trouser press. It's the longest period of uninterrupted peace. Yeah, give, give it a couple of years, start. There's going to be a gigantic alien invasion. So give it a know. couple of years. Give it two weeks. <laughs> Actually, yeah. After this, though, yeah, it's not long after this. No, yeah, I think it's about a year after Iron Man two the Avengers happens. No, no, a couple of weeks because then not only do people attack Iron Man, Thor turns up, and Incredible Hulk just blows up half of New York or wherever the crap he is. Yeah. Yeah, that happened. Incredible Hulk happens at the same point as this episode yeah. of Thor. Um, but I, 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 I it I, happens I, at the same time as um, as Russian no, Malinsky. Some, some, <laughs> some ta- no, some time must pass between Thor and the Avengers. Yeah. Because uh, obviously they've been working on the cut. You know, um, what's his face? The the um, Doctor Sven or whatever his name has been working on the Cosmic Cube for quite some time. So I think it's about a year. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, but still, he's like, oh, there's nothing endangering the world. It's like, yeah, but everything's going to go to crap for America in about two weeks' time. That's very true. And Monaco. <laughs> America <laughs> and Monaco. <laughs> well, that's why we have Captain Britain giving us safe. And all blood here. Mm. Wait, in the background for the Stark e- Expo, aren't those the, the UFOs that that bug tries to get away in in Men in Black? Yeah, because it's um, yeah. Oh yeah, there's his dad who looks completely different in uh, in uh, Captain America. Mm. Is, uh, well, clearly he he invented um, you know um, face transplants and had one. Yeah, he had an unfortunate incident when he was younger involving a man in my a homeless man in Miami. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a combined harvester in Nagini. <laughs> well. That that um, that was after his first face transplant. He only perfected <laughs> it after the second one. I'm your father, Iron Man. <laughs> it took me so much to not call you Harry, <laughs> Tony. <laughs> she apparently reports for we <laughs> we news. Hi, I'm Happy Hogan, but I'm medically depressed. Hey, look, there's, what, there's uh, bro. Hold on, I know who's coming. Get where through. is he? Where is he? Hello. Hold on. Children! Where is he? Come on. Oh, boy, spider friends! <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only time you'll see Stan Lee this move. Tish. It's like it was directed by Michael Bay. <laughs> Except, Except it gets better. Yes. Oh no, there's been no explosions or racial stereotypes yet. No, and that was the only joke, and it's kind of. Um, I don't think. It, well, it makes sense for him because he's a billionaire playboy to say shit like that. Because mm. it, I mean, in this, it's Tony Stark saying it, it's not the camera doing it. That's very true. Wait for... <laughs> One screen wipe later, and we're in Washington. What's that guy? Who's that guy? I don't know. Oh, who's the senator? Yeah, the, the guy who, uh, who's him. playing him. Yeah. Um, yeah. That is um, uh, Gary Shandling, American comedian. 
Ah, I was going to say, I kind of recognise him, but for some you, reason I'm, I'm getting him confused with James Woods, for some reason. He looks like a really fat does, James does. Woods. Do you know what? He's um, he's actually really good mates with David Duchovny, so much so that um, there's an episode of the X-Files where they're doing... Um, the, the, someone's making a film based on the X-Files, and he's playing Agent Mulder in the movie. And David Duchovny's real-life wife at the time, Tay Leone, was playing Scully. Oh. Yeah. That guy's a little bit behind Pepper. Ah, yes, there's, um, oh, what's his name? Um, fuck, what's his goddamn name? Um, the guy who's playing Justin Hammer. Um. Oh, Sam Rockwell, who was also a, he's in Moon. If you ever get a chance to see the movie Moon, because it's fucking amazing, everyone should see that film. And also, he's a of Beeble Brocks in the, uh, the yes. movie. Yes, yeah. he is. Of uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. He is. I still don't get why. Uh, what's Great. going on with the two heads in that film, though? Well, Zephod has two heads. It's a, it's yeah, a requ- I know he has two heads, but I, th- I always imagined it kind of like, um, like in the TV show, where they're just both on his shoulders. Well, the, well the, 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 they did that even better on the stage show that I went to see because it was a radio play version. Is uh, when they first established the fact that he's got two heads, he just had like a, a, a fake head like on a stick, and there was a dude just behind his shoulder holding it up. And they, oh. did that like a scene, they did that for like a scene or two and then just bothered, you know, doing it because he was already established in the head then that he had two heads. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah, it was good for him. Mm. Yeah. And uh, when he was talking to himself, he just stepped from side to side as if he, you know, to do both heads. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so here comes uh, James Rhodes, who's also taken some of um, Howard Stark's face rejuvenation formula and has now become Don Cheadle. He this stopped, is a, this is a, stop blowing things up in the oceans movies with a really bad Cockney accent. <laughs> oh God, and Benny Babbles and Pears, I'm gonna blow some shit up. What you need to do? I think that's an actual quote from <laughs> from Oceans Eleven. <laughs> I've just realised someone they did. Do they ever use the? Uh, the joke relating to Justin Hammer, it's Hammer time. Probably because they not. they totally should have. Of course they should. Because then he can dance going... Well, maybe. So what's actually going on right now? Because as far as I'm aware, he's just uh, sitting in a courtroom making jokes. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's because uh, they're going, yeah, the Iron Man suit is kind of a weapon, so you can't really use it. And he's like, no, it's Iron Man. I'm Iron Man. And they're like, yeah, but it's a weapon. And he's like, okay, so no. it, so <laughs> if, if, in that logic, then every American who owns a gun has to give the gun to the government because it's dangerous. Mm. That's essentially what they're saying. So he's I like his see-through there. phone. Yeah. Beep. Just, just send them a tweet. <laughs> <clears throat> I love how these screens are instantly compatible with this little phone. Yeah. Well, that that's the level of Stark tech. So you can just hijack. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's I like, like yeah. isn't it in this where he's like having to completely mess around with stuff? Uh, like, or was it in the original where um, it took him like ages to hack into stuff? Whereas by by um, oh, uh, Avengers, Avengers he, just, yeah. he just has that little thing, plops it, pops it on one of the computers, and goes, "Yep, I'm in all your systems now." Oh, that's right, yeah, because he gives Pepper Ooh, the memory stick. He just twisted stick. a guy in half. Yeah. Because he gives Pepper the memory stick in the first one, and it takes about an half an hour to download all the information. Yeah. Yeah. 
The first part of survival, half of them did anyway. We had to give him those legs afterwards. Luckily enough, his, uh, his name was Private Gadget, so it was fine. <laughs> well, I thought his name was, uh, it was Ed, and he had to legally change his surname to 209. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the only way they give him the legs. He's like, but I like my name Smith. <laughs> he had to get a, he had to get a, a microwave a elevator though because he's shit had gone downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> the hell was that? A dying pig? Uh, no, that, yeah, that's it. Ed two o nine when he falls down the stairs. I can't remember Ed two o nine sounding like a dying pig. Well, he does. Trust me. We'll have to watch RoboCop again. Yeah, we will. <clears throat> we need to do a commentary on it. That's what I'm saying, we need to watch it. Yeah. Tell you uh, one film we should uh, do a commentary on. Um, uh, I think it's called Verse de Noches. Um, I think I like had that. that in Nando's. Yeah, it's... I think that's the name. The name's supposed to be French. but Noches is Spanish. Spanish for night. Yeah. I can't remember the... Ah. Oh. Uh, Tony's music uh, taste has gone downhill slightly. I preferred it when he was listening to suicidal tendencies. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's you know he's going for something a bit more classic now. Though. Yeah. <clears throat> well, then half of, ha- he's always listening to ACDC. So, oh, which reminds me, I remember when this film came out. The ACDC were releasing a new album and they did like a promotional thing where you got it with uh, like where you got both um, in or it was a best of CD hmm. where they where they uh, re-recorded like a load of old songs uh, on this best of album and they released them together as a as a set or something like that I thought that was pretty cool I never got it because I'm not really that much of an ACDC fan but this moment that I don't quite understand. He has to keep the arc reactor into his body, otherwise the shrapnel will shoot into his heart and kill him. It's a big electromagnet keeping it away. If he takes the arc reactor out so he can change the battery, mm. surely the shrapnel's going to go into his heart. So how can he just take it in and out? Um, I'm guessing that uh, it's far enough away that um, it, it'll take, like, maybe a minute or so to... how. Like, how fast does your bloodstream go around? I don't know. I'm not fucking Jesus. <laughs> I'm Jesus, I know the medical marvels. <laughs> I'll, uh, uh... I shall look up how fast... <laughs> I like that, He's, he basically makes himself a little fucking like, basketball net. Do you know what? Is is she's really good in this role, but I just don't find a fit at all. Mm. I don't know what it is. I mean, there are occasional moments where I'm like, ooh, but I don't particularly think. I mean, like when when in in Avengers when she wandered around the hot pants, yeah, that was okay. But other than that, I, it just nah, didn't really do it for me. Mm. Mm. So, so you'd rather have Black Widow then? Of course. Mm. Any day of the week. I mean, it's well established that, you know, I'm, I'm into redheads, but I mean, Pepper Potts just didn't do it for me for some reason. So, you know, Black Widow. Ooh, oh, yeah, I forgot she turns up in this, doesn't she? Black Widow does, yeah. Fucking right. Get in. Mm. Um. Apparently, uh, blood takes, uh, in the main arteries, it takes about 60 seconds to uh, flow through. So, I'm guessing he's either got a secondary battery in there that, like, gets charged by the arc reactor, which keeps the magnet running while he changes it. Hmm. That's, that's a pretty cop-out answer. That's the only, that's, that seems like the type of thing you'd think of, though. Either that or... Let's see, how long does a, an electromagnet hold its charge? 
oh god, do we need to go all sciency in this movie that doesn't make any fucking... Well, you were the one who asked. I'm just trying to provide you with an answer. Oh, for fuck off. I look, still like look, the... Look, what's going on? Look at her. She's, she's all confused, bless her. That's a pain. <laughs> From all my science talk, apparently. Yeah. I do like his um, his wall of armour, though. It's yeah, not that's expanded. Good. It's not that expanded yet, though. Well, it will be soon. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing, yes. <laughs> for, for Avengers or Iron Man 3. Well, for Avengers, um, when it gets to Avengers, he's on, like, Mark 7, so... Well, he hasn't even got the suitcase armor up there yet, and he, he wears that later in the film. True. Yeah, so shut up. Yeah, does that sign in the back say porn? The, the, it says Nebroya! Yeah, okay. Or something, I don't know. So Mickey Rogue's just been given an envelope. And, uh, it's nice to see that the, the Postal Service in Russia is quite shadowy and shady. Yeah. It's like, Russian Postman Pat. <laughs> Postman Pat. Postman Pat. He gives you stuff in illy ways. Doesn't really rhyme. Oh, yay. Here we go. And so I'm to Russia, time. Post delivers you. <laughs> I'm going to have some happy time now, too, Tony. Mm. I've seen Daisy Boxing on the internet, yeah, that's, uh, that's something else as well. Mm. Um, doesn't Nick Fury turn up in this as well, then? Yeah, like yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting uh, getting Scarlett Johansson in the ring either. No. <clears throat> Is that would that be our first goose reference of the of the evening, sir? Probably. Yeah. Her eyes are a different colour. Are they? I think. I don't usually look at her eyes. I'll be honest with you. Why not? Eyes are awesome. <laughs> I keep a collection. <laughs> <laughs> they go I well don't... with the faces that I keep. I'm pretty sure I established I have a collection of faces on a previous episode. <laughs> yeah, but that that was surely when you had your holiday in the, in Florida, wasn't it? Yeah. When you did your bath salts. Yeah. I just I I just like that even in this first this first time Black Widow turns up, she's a badass. Oh yeah. He's uh, he's looking her up on Google, or as uh, you can also call it, Go Ogle. Yeah, ooh. Yes. Just. Ah, oh, God, I, I like this one. <laughs> mm. Lucky bastard. <laughs> what? I just thought that was funny where he's like, don't take your eye off your opponent, then she just floors it. But the, uh, didn't just, even look uh, at him. And those, um, and, and um, Pepper's just like, oh my god! <laughs> well, to be fair, to, um, to uh, seeing all the stuff she does as Black Widow in Avengers, um, mm-hmm. Favreau got out of that lucky. <laughs> That's very true. She does. She does some of that later as well. When she's yeah, taking she on does. all the guards in the corridor, the Hammer Industries. But we're getting ahead of ourselves again. Welcome to Monaco, home of Grand Prix, and not much else. Hey, that's exactly what this French guy is saying. But you know, I said. Welcome to Monaco. We sell chips. <laughs> <laughs> now you're thinking of McCain's. Mm. Monaco, um, I don't know, what, what else is it? Monaco, Monaco the Glen? We have Gary Oldman! <laughs> but to be fair, everywhere has Gary Oldman. Because every single extra is Gary Oldman.
Has anyone figured out whether Tony Stark has, like, ADHD or something? Because <laughs> he's constantly go- talking to that person and going, oh, right, and talking to that person. Yeah. And then he's like, glasses on, glasses off, glasses on. Squirrel! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's basically to... like, he's basically like, um, uh, Doug. He's, he's, the... he's a hyperactive child, isn't he? Yeah. Oh god, here comes Zaphod. Yeah. Oh yes, we remember her. Mm. Um, was she in the original? He boned her in the first one. Yeah, I thought so. Do you remember when Jarvis wakes up and goes, Yo, bitch, get out of my fucking house. Here's some yeah. clothes. Yeah. He's like, have these clothes. Now, please, sit in this chair. Why, boing? Ah! <laughs> Jarvis or Siri? Let's see. Can I call you Jarvis? I don't see you jobless in your address book. I'm not jobless. <laughs> I'll take it now, I can't. Damn it. I'm gonna pretend his name's Jarvis from now on anyway. And like, if I ever fall off the window, I'll go, Siri, send me an Iron Man suit! I don't know what send me an Iron Man suit means. I cannot find Iron Man suit in your contacts. (laughs) Would you like me to search online? Splat! I just like the fact that it says Stark Medical Scanner in the same, like, logo as Stark Industries. So it's like every time that anything has a Stark label on it, instead of saying Stark, having the Stark Industries logo, and then just labeling what it is, you just it's like just like... It's got a font, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, not everything can be written in Comic Sans. Yeah, but I think military devices should be. It'd take away the it'd take away the seriousness of war. <laughs> like, well, what was it we're when... going to nuke you with this atom bomb covered in comic sounds. Well, wasn't it when they when Sane discovered the Higgs boson particle when they had the uh, the big um, press conference and that and they did this massive PowerPoint presentation? All of it was written in comic sounds. I don't remember. Yeah, <laughs> when they did the super, you know, the large hadron hadron collider, fucking crashed together the basic building blocks of life to see what that, what would happen, and their presentation was done in Comic Sans. I think that's fucking genius. Mm. <laughs> Happy's dead. Tell him Steve Dave reference for anyone yeah. who understands that. Every, every chick loves caviar. Mmm, raw fish eggs. <laughs> That'll get you in the mood. Have you ever seen that video where um, there's... Because um, <clears throat> they use computer programs to warm up uh, the Formula One em- engines to like rev them at different speeds. Right. Have you ever seen that one where um, like they actually uh, programmed it so the... The revs it does uh, for the amount of time it actually revs like the national, the British or American national anthem. No, I don't know, but yeah. Huh. So it like goes. <laughs> and I was like, that's pretty. That's all like Zion. <laughs> well, I'm, the just, I'm doing that as a demonstration of the kind of thing it does, not actually what it does. <laughs> okay. I'm just going saying, but. Yeah, it does the different pictures and stuff. Okay. I don't know, all Lang Syne could be our national anthem for all I'd care. Uh, no, it's not. Do you know what it should be? What? Iron Man. <laughs> By Black Sabbath. Let's <laughs> see, so... What's happening here, so... Oh, fucking... Oh, my God! Fucking Mickey Rourke just decided to take a stroll down the middle of a Formula 1 racetrack, as you do. Yep. And it's so hot that his clothes burn off of him. Yeah, he doesn't have any fucking, like, third degree burns or anything on his skin or nothing. Whee! 
Well, he's dead. Meanwhile, in the briefcase. <laughs> the Blues Brothers, Marvel style. You should have run him over. Would have been a shorter movie. Yeah. Whee! Meanwhile, on a Transformers cutscene. <laughs> God damn, did you see that dog down go there? Why boy go fly through the air? <laughs> he be grave, you dead. Typical Michael Bay dialogue. <laughs> damn! I need me some rice and peas. <laughs> Grab my grape juice, man. <laughs> yeah, because that would happen. <laughs> of course. Boom! Welcome to hell. Population, Mickey Rock. <laughs> Welcome to Marvel's Death Race 2000. <laughs> what the fuck's it doing in your pocket and knobhead? It's really one of the first things you do once you realise you're going to need to use the Iron Man suit is unlock the fucking briefcase off your wrist. I was going to say, uh, it's an Iron Man briefcase. Wouldn't it be a lot easier if it just had fingerprint identification so only those three could take it off? Get off you. <laughs> it would have been funnier if it got him in the balls. <laughs> it's like, oh! I'm not being funny. For the, next, <laughs> for the next 30 minutes, um, Tony Stark's like... I really wish he hadn't have hit me like that. <laughs> I am Iron Man. <laughs> I'm trying to fly. I can't figure out double dutch. Mickey Rock died today on the set of Iron Man 2. And his pelvis was crushed. Yeah, it sounds like every fucking road ship I ever took with the axe. <laughs> I'd say the same, but that's only the case if the road is being inhabited by a squirrel. It's all right. Sure, if Zoe were here, she'd uh, she'd, <laughs> she'd make a comment. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, so> sure. <laughs> oh, my face! <laughs> As is the uh, the typical catchphrase of Fifty Four commentary. Yeah. Well, the door's open. I just it's put it on it into the bat suit. That, yeah, that's the wrong fucking suitcase. Mm. You've got to admit the the uh, the Iron Man the briefcase suit in this does look a little better than the uh, than the version the that's on the cartoon. Oh, and in the uh, yeah, I'm gonna say cause it's the, it looks better than the extreme armor as well. I love the fact that Tony's fucking amazed that these fucking whips that can cut through fucking cars are actually damaging his suit, and he's like, huh? Yeah, Yeah, but he made it out of, like, (laughs) Wolverine's skeleton. (laughs) He's like, I actually deboned Wolverine to make this suit. Well, you wouldn't want to bone Wolverine, would you? Depends what gender you are, I suppose. Yeah. yeah, but if he pops the claws, I'm sure, well, I'm, I'm can... sure Rogue wanted to. Well, Rogue can't do shit. Mm. <laughs> Rogue, yeah. <laughs> I think it's I've, I've just got a mental image of Rogue talking to uh, talking to um, 
uh, Wolverine saying, where else has claws? <laughs> yeah. Do you, th- do you think Rogue is, is safe for Rogue to masturbate? Touching herself isn't a problem. Oh, and so. if you believe the X-Men, uh, X-Men Evolution cartoon show... Is there uh, an episode where she masturbates, isn't there? No. I was going to say she'd be able to get with uh, with Gambit, because in that Gambit can touch her. Hey. Because, because of the nature of their powers, because she takes the energy out of people, which allows her to get their powers. But uh, Gambit's powers, uh, he puts out energy. So they cancel each other out. No. <sighs> now, like I know I said, that she's in the X-Men Evolution TV show. I know she went out with Colossus for a while because um, she could touch him in his iron form. Fair enough. Yeah. So, there was that. But, um, yeah. Now, the question as well. With a condom, what, would, would that work with a rogue? Because it's technically it's not skin on skin, is it? Well, it's a glove, so yeah, yeah. So long as she, so long as she didn't go all the way down the shaft, it'd be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we talking about this? I don't know. It's just you know. Well, like if you do nothing behind, your balls are slapping against the arse just every couple of seconds. You're just like. Oh. <laughs> 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 you know. What is he having sex with her while recording noises to uh, for people to turn over pages? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the, the, the volume on this is constantly up and down. That's why I've got the subtitles on, dude. It's just much easier when we're recording commentaries. Mm. Like duck tails. Every day they're out there chasing duck tails. Your face. <laughs> Your face and my butt. Yeah. Do, 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 do. But if you can make a duck quack, then some may say you're the duck. Whisperer. See, we can all say metaphors that don't mean shit. Mm. <laughs> ah, but the, but the point is this. If a tree falls um, down in a forest when no one's around, does a duck's quack echo? Yes. I saw that episode of Mythbusters. Me too, actually, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but did they test the myth while a tree was falling down in the forest with no one around? Well, no, they couldn't do that because there was no one around. <laughs> Fair point. So, th- is this the same plane that they use in the Avengers? You think? Um. I think it's probably the same same plane. It seems to have had a slight downgrade from mm. the stripper poles and stuff from the original Iron Man film. Yes. So at the same time as that whole thing in Monaco, um, you reckon, uh, is that when everything's going off with the Incredible Hulk? No, that's happening at the end of this movie. Cause, oh, um, it's happening at the same time as the whole Crimson Dynamo. Thing. Yeah, when... Um, after he's had the fight with, uh, with Crimson Dynamo and stuff, he's having a chat with um, with uh, Nick Fury, and on the screens in the background is uh, the Incredible Hulk mm. uh, uh, at the school, I think it is. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yes, yeah, the bit, yeah. Where, uh, yeah, so that's all, that's apparently all going on at that exact moment. Which the Black Widow was actually there, if you've read the, the Fury's uh, Big Week comic Oh, book. yeah, I remember you She's mentioning that during yeah. the. Yeah, the, she's uh, actually filming that. So when you see the footage being displayed in Fiori's uh, like briefing room, it's uh, it's actually the widow who's filming it. Ah, cool.
Ooh, sick bird. <laughs> Fucking Tony's the tin man. <laughs> All I want is a heart. <laughs> or at least one that hasn't got shrapnel six inches away. Mm. I'm just going to leave this here. Precariously balanced, so as soon as you try to get it, it will fall. Oh no! no! My beans! I want my beans. <laughs> I want my bu- my beans. <laughs> this is not my beans. <laughs> Hey, it just look it looks exactly the same. It's for you know, it's better than your old beans. I want my beans. These are fine. There's like something wrong with my mashed potato. <laughs> <laughs> you hold this. Are you my twin? Probably. Okay. Do, 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 do. Nothing to see here. No surveillance or anything. Okay. So... The, the, this is where the, the Michael Bay movie starts. So the other dude in the cell is supposed to be him who really died. But yeah. What about you know? So so oh, there was an unfortunate accident in in Ivan Vanko's cell and he was died. At the same time, a guard's neck mysteriously broke itself. <laughs> <laughs> like ten foot down the hall. Yep. Ta-da! This is the worst surprise birthday party I've ever had. <laughs> You don't even have my bird. <laughs> I just like that he's got, because uh, of the hood, he now looks like a cone head. <laughs> I loved Sin City. I, you know, I wasn't too keen on Domino, but. Piss off. Get, get the fuck. You can call me Hammer Man. Now, it's Hammer Time. Do you do do do? You ever remember the, ha- the Hammer Man cartoon series? The MC Hammer cartoon series? No. He has magical talking shoes. <laughs> what? Yeah. No. He was a, he was like a school teacher or something like that, and he had these magical talking shoes on, and whenever he put the shoes on, he became Hammer Man. And he went out and solved crime, and he, his costume was like parachute pants and stuff. <laughs> it's fucking weird. But yeah, he had two shoes to talk to. That's insane. <laughs> it was like, it's like living inside Otto's head from that episode of The Simpsons. We are your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Except for this way, because you're staring at me. You have provided me with lots of food, but I would just prefer to chew on a cocktail stick. It provides me with many, many nutrients, mainly wood based. <laughs> Sounds like conversations I have in work. Mm. Someone <laughs> talks nonsense to me, I'm like, Do you want a translator? Very good, man. Okay, bye. Oh god, he wants his fucking bird. I want my bird. It is what I call my girlfriend. I'm actually quite scarce. 
<laughs> What's with Jack Skellington in the background there? That's no way to talk about John che- Don Cheadle. No, when it goes back to the other shop, he stood in front of the fountain. Not him. That's Don Cheadle. <laughs> no, not him. We must have missed it. I think you're making stuff up. I'll point it out when it goes back up. Up there. I love the fact that there was a photo of a of a, a younger Mickey Rourke um, coming out of a prison cell or something. Mm. I think that may be a file photo from when uh, Mickey went through some of his troubles from quite a few years back. Probably. Yes. Like uh, in the first time, my mother used photos of Robert Dad Jr. when he was younger. And uh, some of his more um, lurid moments, shall we say. <laughs> It's somewhere near here where he steals a suit, isn't it? I'm so fucking high. Um, yes, name. No, it's when Tony's having his birthday party. Oh yeah, because he puts on the suit to. Um, yeah. To have a slap. Yeah, because. Yeah. Tony's busy flying it around while drunk. Mhm. Palladium. Uh, I was given it by Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> Used to have it every Saturday night. You kind of want to swap it out now. Hey, this isn't palladium, it's a cracker. <laughs> so that's why I'm dying. I've been trying to run my my uh, my heart on biscuits. <laughs> they now call me Ritz Man. Oh, that's better. <laughs> I was going to say... It's, the fuse must have gone. Oh, God, I'm going to die. <laughs> uh, the T-shirt's broken. Oh, my way. There it is. Oh, he's drinking that horrible liquid now, isn't he? Yeah. It's a bit like this stuff on my ex. I used to drink this stuff called Super Greens. I don't know what the fuck it was, but it tasted foul, but she swore by it. What, is it a health drink or something? Yeah, some kind of nonsense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Google it, it's weird. Doesn't he just break straight in? Yeah. Doesn't need any encrypted passcodes. It's admin. Password is admin. <laughs> Didn't that happen recently? Oh, Didn't that happen recently where um, some guy was hacking into the Pentagon and it turned out the password was uh, the password for the Pentagon security systems was password? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's probably the last thing you'd ever think of. Hmm. These old rubbish. Mm-hmm. They're on better. Yeah, I was I was gonna say something, but then I realised it's kind of spoilers for uh, po- possible spoilers for Iron Man three. So okay, so it does. <laughs> I'll talk to you about it after we finish watching. Yes, I have a feeling now. I know you're going to talk about, but yeah. Mm-hmm. He had a feeling too. Yeah. yeah. Everyone knows. I got a feeling. Woo hoo. Oh. The one that stops me from dying. And why I live in England and she lives in fucking LA. 
Same I reason why she's famous and you're not. Yeah, but I'm only not famous because I'm here. <laughs> Is that why you want to go to America? You, you're not uh, the the uh, Doctor Who conventions only a cover. You're actually going over there to be a star. Maybe. <laughs> nah, dude, man. God, look at that ass. Anyway. Um, sorry, I'm coming across as extraordinarily sexist, aren't I? Yes. God, she's fit. <laughs> Let me poke your eye out. Yeah, but that's the problem. Scarlett Johansson or Black Widow? Which one? Hmm. Because I was going to say, if Scarlett Johansson, it's like, yeah, she's famous. But if you like Black Widow, it's like, yeah, but if you get anything wrong, she'll break your neck. <laughs> oh, it's got to be Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah, but then you get all the paparazzi. If you're with Black Widow, then you don't. But then you've yeah. got the chance of broken necks. <laughs> but how awesome would it be for your mates of you, like you went to school with and stuff? Me being a fucking, like, library geek and stuff back in the day. And all of a sudden they're in the paper reading me and Scarlett Johansson. Come on, that's fucking awesome. Be genius. Notice that the DJ has his logo in the ACDC font. (laughs) Isn't that um, the guy from the Beastie Boys who's dead? Um, Who, doing the DJ stuff? Yeah. Sure it is, isn't it? Oh, no, I don't think so. I'm pretty certain it is. I can't be bothered Googling. How boss would that be? So just turn up an Iron Man's at your party, pissed. Kind of dangerous. You're pregnant. I mean, don't piss them off, like, but still. Hysterical. I'm sure it isn't. Well, I don't know. Why? I mean, I, see, this is what this this is why you should live in America because every party is filled with incredibly beautiful women. <laughs> All right, Bear Grylls, calm down. <laughs> I think I had Bear Grylls once in the Iceland. I think they saw them. What are we supposed to do for 15 minutes? I made a big There's door. Jack Skellington. He almost blew him up. You can't blow up someone who's already dead. And everyone had severe lacerations from the flying glass. Yep. Oh, that Which one do I steal? Well, he steals the one that he was looking at in the first movie. Going. No, but what, why did he steal the Mark III, the one that's more advanced? Ooh, Unibeam. Nice. I shit myself. Ah, Edward. Man hugs. 
<laughs> At least he can afford to break half his house. That's very true. Oh, you did not just frisbee me. I don't know what it is about Queen that just makes it the perfect soundtrack to every movie. Because Queen is kind of cool? Yeah. Think of how many films have used Queen in the soundtrack. True. Iron Man. Um, Sean the Flash Dead Gordon. has. Uh, Flash Gordon. Highlander. Flash Gordon. Highlander, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Stop being fit. I love the fact that, like, when he came through the floor, she immediately went into a fight stance. Literally only see it for a split second, but it's a nice little touch. Yeah. I mean, it came through the floor, it came through the ceiling. It's, it's like, um... It just turned into Daft Punk. Yeah, Robot Rock. Which I think is a nice little in joke, but yeah. they're not robots, but whatever. It suits the action, though. Uh, yeah, well, that's yeah, the whole point. Mm-hmm. Plonk. Beat him with everything, including the kitchen sink. For Detroit. Ah, that's uh, where he gets called it. <laughs> What's like Dragon Ball Z? And energy beams? Kamehameha. Although this makes me it wasn't think... Wasn't that funny? You know, you know what? <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> uh, when he gets Stark Tower, he obviously moves in there. What happens to his cliffside house? It's getting rebuilt. Because Stark Tower is in New York, whereas this is in uh, Los Angeles, like Malibu or somewhere. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. So he's living in Stark Tower while this gets rebuilt, probably because of this. Well, that's, well, that's to say, I mean, Avengers takes place about a year after. So it's this place is probably all rebuilt by that point, because he's got that, got that much money to do it quickly. I think he's living in Stark Tower, because Stark Tower is still being built and everything. Yeah, so he's overseeing there, so production. Construction. Yeah. Hmm. Which he has and to do again. And subsequent reconstruction. Yes. Well, as the Avengers Tower, then. Yeah, true. So Rhodey's just nabbed off with the suit. Bye. Meanwhile, in the desert. Oh. Should have been Hangar 18, then I could have made a Megadeth reference. I think we've actually fell into a Michael Bay movie. Yeah. The army dudes. This is this is this is where uh, this is where the helicopter turns up and turns into a robot and starts destroying stuff. Dun 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 Mm. When I think oh my god, it's the, it's the T-1000! Kill it! Kill it! Why is it wearing blackface? Mommy! <laughs> <laughs> I've come to assassinate you, mommy! The Terminator! <laughs> Isn't War Machine's armor slightly weaker than... Um, Iron Man's just because... Yeah, because it's a prototype, isn't it? Well, yeah, true. But I meant more that the... Uh, is it an arc reactor? It um, is a reactor that's built in, but it doesn't have... As, it won't have as much power because Tony has his with him all the time. Oh, I don't know. Woohoo! I'm Black Nick Fury. Like Black Jackie. But more Nick Fury. I came all the way from the Ultimate Universe to find you, you twat. 
<laughs> Apart from Mr. Real. If 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 I had a if I if I had to um, uh, record a rap album, it would be under the name Be Real. Word. Be Real is actually a rapper. He's one of the guys from Cypress Hill. I know. <laughs> you do. I do. I didn't I'm down with Cypress. the homies. I didn't think you were a Cypress Hill fan. Oh, I'm down with the kids. Yeah. Cypress Hill are awesome. I just noticed next year then uh, getting a quick sly. He's like he whacked his arm around. He's like, yeah, he's my bitch. Mm. Motherfucker! <laughs> Damn, bitch! Nigga stole his suit. While we're here, can we order a Royale with cheese? <laughs> yes. Yep. The fastest acting medicine in history. What did you say? Just something about baits. Have you tried penicillin? Of course. Have you tried a different magnet? (laughs) Here, try this cube. Where's that from? Oh, I'm sorry, you're not supposed to see this for another three movies. Oh, fuck, again with the bed? The bird is the word! So you fucking talk it up! The bird's the word. I'm totally going to have to play that as the end credit song for this. It's you right, yeah, because the bird is the fucking word with this movie. Mm, so, I will start oh, off this God. commentary with the with the War Machine song by Adam Warrock and end it with Bird is the Word. Probably. That's something about this movie, is like you, you've got a tiny weeny fight where a fucking Iron Man gets his ass kicked for fucking four minutes. And, <laughs> and then 45 minutes fucking, of birds. Yeah, 45 minutes of... Fucking douchebag going, I want my bird, give me bird. And then you have another bit of a fight at the end. He doesn't fit. You need small little head. We get children. Yeah, drones are so better that he went after Iron Man himself, a person, didn't build a robot and send it after him instead. Yeah, because he didn't, he didn't have the utilities to make a drone. Well, fucking, he had the utilities to make fucking a whiplash costume. True. Yeah. Fucking dudes make fucking robot wars in the sheds. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh god, I've just got a mental image that like, they're like, I know what will take on Iron Man. <laughs> What's that? And he rolls so out a tank. I was going to say he rolls out a tank-sized version of Sergeant Bash. <laughs> <laughs> Matilda. That's what we should start calling War Machine from now on. Matilda. Matilda. Yeah. I call her Matilda. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> Why don't these tuck the shirts into their trousers? It's the scruffiest pair of fucking army bastards I've ever seen. Oh, no, they're not even army, they're the Air Force, are they? It's 
Tudo sinal de arque. You see these arms? They belong to dwarves. <laughs> So, so we have, we get, we've, we've got 45 minutes of fucking Mickey Rowe banging on about birds. And the other, the, the other rest of it is fucking, um. Tony going, Nick I Yori never saying, knew my father. <laughs> Nicky already saying, oh, you don't know shit, motherfucker. I found snakes in this Iron Man suit. <laughs> now go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> I've discovered the only thing that's, that's easy for me to do is to drop subtle, vague hints as to what you need to do. Because every time I try to come up with a plan and tell someone, I get bitten by a shark. I wonder what happened to his eye in this. When he got hit by the shark. <laughs> yeah. For us. But what, what is Nick Fury's reason for having an eye patch? Like, how did he lose his eye in comic continuity? I can't remember. He's a pirate. <laughs> He's a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. I have to look back. <laughs> that would be so. Oh, sorry. Give me a text. Oh, no, not a text. That's a Twitter mention, but whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm popular. Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. Ah. Phil. Singular. I'm a Cyclops! <laughs> Both eyes, as often as I can spare them. Bye. Why do you go fuck yourself? I'll even suck your dick if I have to. But you have to pay me five dollars and afterwards say, ooh, what a ooh, lovely, lovely tea, tea party. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the case, Johnny? Well, the big circle battle. Oh no. It's a UFO. Operation for adults. Okay. Wait, I've just realised something. If the 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 uh, art reactor appears in the chest like that because it's embedded in Tony's chest, how oh. does he get it on without the art reactor stabbing him in the chest constantly? Um. Because squirrel. Mm, squirrels. Squirrels. <laughs> um. I love the fucking like snooker fucking referee gloves that he's wearing. I like that cut. Oh, the fact that Rodie's just staying now, I'm not even saying any. <laughs> uh, that's, one that, one. that's the one thing I do like about the war machine arm with the massive minigun on the shoulder. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah. Cigars? It's a vibrator. A lethal vibrator. You use it once and it kills you. 
The only problem is it vibrates your brain out of your skull we by hitting you in the guys. skull. <laughs> we gave it to one of our guys. He shoved it up his ass. We didn't find him for four weeks. No, we did. He was in six parts. One was in the Gobi Desert. Two were in Albania. And the other three were in Alaska. Except for his nose. We couldn't find that anywhere. We took to calling the corpse Voldemort after that. <laughs> Volder corpse. <laughs> that sounds like the the best Voldemort-based death metal band ever. Really? I should totally record a song under the name Volder Corpse. <laughs> Would you have to think it like this? Yeah, the whole the whole thing yeah, it just be right blast curry. beats and death metal death metal riffs with with like oh yeah oh yeah it, we can see what's in the box now. Oh, I. You I like blueprints. You always love boxes. Oh yeah, I like to see what's in the box. Soviet wanker defects. So Pruder footage, snuff film, alien autopsy. Hmm, donut maker. Well, the diary you have, Frank, is a lot more complicated than I thought it would be. <laughs> She apparently learned how to do molecular physics while in uh, while stuck in a a loft. Well, she didn't get out much, so you know. Oh, look familiar, Tesseract. Yeah. Maria looks like a man. Your mother was a man, Tony. Don't say that. All the Republicans will start using Iron Man 2 as an argument against Obama. <laughs> <laughs> My ass. <laughs> nope. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Did you actually remember that bit, or were you no. just making a joke? <laughs> No, genuinely. Well, that was useless. Screw this book. I hate you, Dad. What? Uh! <laughs> it's a ghost! You can put trains on it. Oh, uh, you you got little toys for people. It's like it's like a whole real town for you. It's it's, see, it's incredible. See, Cars. See this, see this big building? It can be used as a UFO too. You just, you see that? That that that's from Men in Black. <laughs> you won't you won't know that yet. That'll come in about 1997. But you'll you'll like it when it comes out. And then you'll want a talking dog. <laughs> My balls. How about your doctor? Meanwhile, in Monaco. No, we're still back in LA again, where roads do not have um, security rails to stop you flying off a cliff. I also believe in the chupacabra. I want one of those things on the desk. It's weird, eh? The spitty thing, yeah. It's like I totally want a um a well, Newton's a cradle as well. Device, eh? Well, no, because it will eventually stop. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, uh, that thing only, uh, they actually mentioned it in the commentary, that thing only stops if you make it stop. It will keep going forever. Oh. 
What did I tell you? Republicans. <laughs> I don't know anything about American politics, but I'm presuming that's correct. <laughs> yeah, goddamn liberal hippies. <laughs> Wait, you're on the wrong side. <laughs> I mean, um, goddamn. Um, hey, look, my train set. Giants. I would totally, I would totally kill for a train set that big. <laughs> I had a train set that big when I was a kid. I had a huge one. Goodness. I'm slightly jealous now. Slightly, very. It was, it was built totally on like this gigantic slab of fucking um, plywood, and it was oh, it was fucking amazing. Like the Hornby stuff. It was yeah, it was a big huge thing yeah. Awesome. I'm but gonna, I mean, I'm, the the board was like probably about uh, probably about eight foot by five foot. Mm. So to store it, we had to we had to like stand it up against the wall. Yeah, that's why um, I'm going to build Connor one, but um, I'm going to make it slightly more portable than that. No, oh, I loved it. I don't. I wonder what ever happened to that. Uh, it might be me, mum and dad's loft. No, in fact, no, it couldn't be because it wouldn't get through the loft hatch. I don't know. If it still exists, when I come over to drink, we need to play with it because I have no, I have no idea whether this dude. I'd have to speak to me dad. I've got, I've got a feeling he probably dismantled it. Oh. Uh, well, we had the we we got the house completely essentially rebuilt from the ground up when I was about eight years old. Ah. So, and I don't remember having it after that. So. Fair enough. But yeah, I'm totally building one for Connor. Like uh, for it, I can show you the big. The, I mean, God, how interesting is this for a commentary? I was about yeah. to say, I can tell you where the, there's a great model train shop in Liverpool, not far from my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's the fifty foot nerds. <laughs> well, that's very true. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had me- I I said on the episode where Demonica was on that I'm a train geek. You are. Yeah. So is Connor so far. So. Oh look, there, here's your eye candy. Mhm. Quick, quick to Google. I need to search Doppler's photos. <laughs> oh, we've seen them. Yeah. Yes. Too soon. <laughs> it's never too soon for Doppler's photos of her. And discussing her personal belongings. Now just stay bent over the desk. Uh-huh. I have Latin on my arm. Yeah? Yeah. What's it say? Dumperis vivam. Um, Which means in. It's a translation of a Triptychon lyric. That's as much as I will tell you. I <laughs> Just like he tries to stop it. <laughs> He's completely missed the bit. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Ben. The key to the future is here. It's a time Ooh, machine. Look, a key. Wait a minute. If I use some imagination and no real basis in anything else I've learned ever, then I think I've just discovered the secret. <laughs> <laughs> I could rent a truck, but screw it. <laughs> Planks! It's the future. Hang on, how's that a fucking dust on it if he's just been driving? <laughs> At like 60 miles an hour, I think the dust would have blown off. Probably. It was really stuck in there. Mm. Stop being an arsehole, Jarvis. Hungry for waffles now. I'm hungry for Jarvis. 
<laughs> You're hungry for Jarvis. Yeah. Sounds about right. <laughs> a complete gay. <laughs> hungry for Jarvis sounds like sounds like um, some sort of. Sounds like an album title. Yeah. Well, that, that's going to be Volder Corpse's uh, f- first album title, Hungry for Jarvis. <laughs> ping, ping, ping. It's a good thing that Howard Stark realised how, how advanced technology would be in the future for his son to be able to create this. Mm. I'm fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't understand the fucking thing. Well, that's mom for you. Now, what about dad? So you're gonna die. Fucking always hated this war. <laughs> time to show Justin Hammer what hammer time really means. <laughs> Take that floor. Well, it's probably after this that they need to remodel the house. <laughs> That's very true. I was going to say, where's half of his car collection gone? But he probably destroyed it. Yeah. Like oh, bazooka. Because I remember him destroying quite a bit of it because uh, because of you going, no! <laughs> He's piled some on a motorcycle. At last, the, the world's most advanced hose pipe. <laughs> I just noticed, I've seen the... the, the um, you know the robot arm that constantly talks to him and has the yeah that one <laughs> have you real uh, eh hey? little Johnny Five yeah yeah <laughs> did yeah. you notice the the thing on the side says dumb e <laughs> <laughs> it's foreshadowing hey, awesome. for a future movie I do like that. Um, that Coulson's like, dude, this is Captain America's shield, and he's like, yeah, no, it's it's um, what I need to make this stable. Well, that's perfect for what we know about Coulson, isn't it? So. Yeah. Oh, Coulson's off to go meet Thor. Yeah. I have a wrench. Time for some lasers. Prisms. I've made a small hadron collider. I was going to say he discovers the Higgs boson before. <laughs> It's like, you're aware that it's Jarvis, any minute Jarvis is going to go, you know, you are aware that if this goes wrong, we're going to create a black hole underneath your house, right? Mm. Tony's like, don't care. He wouldn't create the Higgs boson. It's Tony Stark, he'd create the Higgs boat, the bosom. <laughs> oh, we already discovered the Higgs bosom in the shape of um, uh, the Black Widow. Uh, I just like that he's, he's like, I oh, know, act- I'll activate the laser when it's when it's pointing at every uh, <laughs> yeah. every device that that could be. That's um, not where I need it. Yeah. yeah, I was hoping that he kind of um, positioned it wrong and it accident- he accidentally cuts through the power lines. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets halfway there, the power dies. He's like, I really should have aimed this better. <laughs> I have created triangle. <laughs> 
No one in the world knew what a triangle was before me. It's like a shiny Dorito. It's like a mini Dorito, but bigger. <laughs> I want some mini cheddars now. <laughs> I want some proper cheddars. Oh yeah, what was that with the Metro stealing our jo- uh, stealing our bit? That's right, yeah. People wouldn't have heard about this yet. There was a thing in the Metro about, um, about the new iPad Mini and uh, the Metro being the free newspaper that you get on public transport here in the UK. And uh, they, yeah, they had, um, in the Metro, they had a, a bit, the article, the headline on it said, the new iPad Mini, like an iPad, but Mini. And Mike, Mike just tweeted me going, hey, Hey Andy, <laughs> the Metro stole our bit. <laughs> so obviously we've got a fan in the Metro, and they should credit us. Fuck you. I've got my board. Would you like some seed? <laughs> I'll stop talking about the fucking bed. <laughs> His name is Pete. <laughs> oh, oh like- God, you know what? I'm really getting pissed off with all this bear talk. Yeah. So is he? No, not my pillows. And not my shoes. I will kill you in your sleep. I want your boots, your pillows, and your bird. <laughs> That'd be the worst Terminator ever. Ever. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> or it would be the best film ever. John, uh, uh, Sarah Connor's running away. Sarah Connor's running away from a uh, from a pillow wielding Terminator riding an ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be the strangest <laughs> movie of all time. <laughs> Iron Man says, oh, come with me if you want to live. <laughs> God, that would be unusual. Someone needs to make that. Maybe we'll even talk about your bird some more, because I know you fucking love that. <laughs> I'm going to be doing magic tricks. <laughs> I'm holding a bird. <laughs> bird in the bag. It's like chicken in a basket, but... <laughs> Let's cook. I want to cook that bird. <laughs> <laughs> it's Howard the Duck in the bag. That's that's uh, Howard the Duck's cameo in in the, uh, Marvel the Marvel universe. cinematic universe. I think Jarvis would be a bit more fucking discreet about it. You know, he's, he's trying to secretly re-record and find out where he is, and Jarvis is like, SEARCHING FOR THE FUCKING douchebag ON THE PHONE! <laughs> yeah. God damn it. <laughs> uh, he only oh, hung up because you were busy yammering at him. Mm-hmm. Fucking all these super advanced technology that he's got access to, and he can't figure out where this dude ring them from. <laughs> the new catchphrase, Ryan Man. Heavy metal coconuts. 
Tony Stark was found today incinerated as his new chest piece blew up. Exploded. <laughs> With the power of Hiroshima inside his chest, Tony Stark <laughs> was evaporated. His shadow was found burned against the wall. There is still no sign of Ivan Vanko's bird. There you go. It's hammer time. I love how every science CEO in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is a charismatic douchebag. Yeah. Or, is, or apparently is too busy dancing to make. Yeah. Let me tell you about a bird. A bird in a bag. <laughs> ostriches. Why are there so Super many ostriches. ostriches? I only thought there'd be a few, a few ostriches. Who would win in a fight? A bear or a crocodile? Don't mind the parachute pants. <laughs> wow, the designs are much different. Mm. You know what? They kind of remind me of the... Uh of the the drone robot things that they have to fight in in the Gundam Wing anime series. Yeah, a little bit. It's just like, and the and the piece de resistance Gundam the Epion. Coast Guard. The Coast Guard. <laughs> they just come up uh, uh, with. Suits that have no weaponry, they're just bright orange and are armed with life jackets. <laughs> <laughs> or it's, it's got a Baywatch style bikini <laughs> painted yeah. onto it. And instead of having the drone heads, they all look like David Hasselhoff. <laughs> and then David Hasselhoff turns up and goes, Well, that's where my cardboard cutouts went. <laughs> And the music that plays when they were caught, when they were caught off is Some people stand in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> no, when the David Hasselhoff drones come up, it just starts going, Here in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. It's a meteor. Hello. <laughs> Lucky I have a new Iron Man suit with a triangular chest piece to go with my new triangular chest piece. Yeah, that, that's the thing. It, his chest piece is now triangular. But how come on the next version, it's circle again? <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm just saying he, he obviously what? had that armor built and ready, his new style armor. He just so happened to have one with the triangular chest piece before he even knew that the new thing in his chest would be triangular. Yeah. That's uh, that's War Machine's new catchphrase. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whereas Iron Man's is... <coughs> you know, I can't think which one's better. Wee! Some motif in this movie. Lots it's of raining glass. glass. Hallelujah. Wee! Wee! You're gonna be my bitch. Oh, 
Oh. What else? <laughs> Some men in black UFOs. Yep. They shouldn't be there. Well, at least one of them shouldn't. Apparently, the ar- the army ones can't fly. No, because the army can't fly. It's a fair point. Pick them up then. Shoo, women. Ivan, Ivan, Ivan. (laughs) Ivan Ooze. You can call me Barry, or you can call me Steve. I've taken your drones, and now you have no reprieve. (laughs) Eve, I will take... I've taken all your robots. They are now in my control. I'm going over here. I'll step into a hole. Because I am short now, and you are quite tall. But if I get back out, then you will be quite small. Because I am Ivan Ooze, and I'm taller than you. So go over there while I have my poo. <laughs> Seriously, I need a shit. Meanwhile, we perform the rest of the 50 foot commentary entirely in rhyme. <laughs> Italian rhyme? Why do you say that? I don't think I'll do that. Here's my cat. <laughs> we should totally do a. Uh, um, like for Christmas, we should do a commentary on the Grinch and write the commentary so it's entirely in rhyme. <laughs> Entirely in rhyme, he said. I wondered why. I scratch my chin and I say, hmm, hi. Oh, no. Blam. you got to admit, the drones look pretty awesome, though. Yeah. Not when they're shooting at themselves, like, what the Yeah, that is kind of... <laughs> Still, the wreckage kills civilians. Yeah. <laughs> If he was in prison, where'd he get all the tattoos? Oh, no, he hasn't been in prison for a while, has he? No. So that's Plus, you can't make got... homemade tattoos. No, oh, yeah, true. Iron Man, you're a lot shorter than I thought. Behold the tie-in merchandise. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, the car... Dr. Pepper. Happy Pepper. (laughs) That would be totally me. (laughs) Stripping in the back of a car while John Pavro pebs on me. It'd be totally me. (laughs) You love the idea of John Pavro staring at you while you get naked. (laughs) Come on, who doesn't get turned on by the director of Zathora looking at them? That's one thing that I always found creepy about that movie, though, where the where the chick is like, "Oh, I really like this random dude that turned up," and then it turns out it's her little little brother, <laughs> and she's like, "Ah, hey, Owen Zathora." Yeah, I've never seen it. Have you not? Oh, no. spoilers! <laughs> oh, I'll grow. It's just totally ruined you... the movie for me now. I thought you had. No, I've never seen it. All right. I'm a grown man, Andy. I don't really go out my way to watch Zathora, a space adventure, the sequel to Jumanji that was about 15 years after fucking Jumanji. I thought it was kind of an alright movie. Obviously, Jumanji's better. Jumanji's awesome. What year is this? (laughs) I like this where Happy Hogan gets to show kind of his origins, is that? There's a, like a, I mean, he's, he was a professional fighter at one point, was Happy Hogan, so. Oh, cool. Oh. He isn't in Avengers, is he? Happy? Um, no, I don't think so. God, 
I thought she'd mm-hmm. broken his neck. No, I think she, if she's like on shield mission, she's told not to kill people. Probably she hasn't done that ever since she joined event, uh, mm. joined shield, has she? No, probably not. Unless like it's like aliens and stuff. What's the password? It's probably my board. <laughs> probably. Shoelace attack. Oh no, I remember when I first saw this, I thought her fighting was impressive, but after seeing her battle with Hawkeye in Avengers, it's not yeah. nearly as good anymore. No, even the bit where she's like... Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> That was funny though. Yeah, no, uh, even the bit where she's escaping from the, from the Russian general thing at the beginning of Avengers. I've always had that kind of like mini almost backflip thing that she does in Avengers is brilliant. Yeah. It's pretty dark. She's she hung a dude. Don't I don't think crops. Brody's the kind of guy who wears crocs. Welcome to the inside of planet Earth. And it now explodes. He vaunts his bird. Meanwhile, the two mannequins are hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> not only did he not only did he leave, he left some sort of <laughs> weird art piece behind. Later in Jurassic Park. <laughs> Next shot is Iron Man riding a T-Rex. <laughs> that, again, that would be an awesome movie. Someone needs to make that. Marvel vs. Jurassic Park. Well, they need to. Br- they're going to bring in Devil Dinosaur, probably. Now they've got Rocket Raccoon. They may as well. Yeah, I suppose. Are you a Yoshi? Or Squirrel Girl. <laughs> squirrel Girl, you say? <laughs> ah, Skype. Ooh, omelets. Oh! <laughs> I never got that reference in Avengers. What? She go, says the fight's coming to you, and then in uh, Avengers he's like, yeah, I'm going to bring the fight to you. Ah. Oh, Joss Whedon really thought out his script. <laughs> well, I don't think he knocked it up on a weekend. <laughs> no, but I didn't realise there were that many, like, little references. Hmm. I don't know that's kind of a popular saying, but I, I can imagine with a Joss Whedon script, it'd probably be deliberate. Oh, yeah. Which reminds me, I, need, I really need to watch Firefly. <laughs> oh, bromance. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, even Tony's got to admit that fucking minigun's awesome. Yeah, I do like the uh, uh, War Machine's armor because of all the modification. It is, it looks way more bulky. It is. It's fucking huge. Yeah. Mm. Too late. Which we're taking the high ground. So the army ones can fly. Yeah, they got fucking rocket. They just didn't feet. 
No, because I mean earlier, some of them just started walking away rather than flying. Oh, yeah. Well. So I obviously wanted to conserve fuel. Well, maybe. I love that the way that the Iron Man helmets just flick down. Yeah. Awesome. I love that the way that Rhodey's minigun is just like him going 360 degrees. He doesn't even have to be looking at what he's shooting at. Yeah, it's got like an auto target function or something. Yeah, of course. Brilliant. Yeah, because he'll probably, in his um, heads up display in the thing, it'll probably have a, an extra square. Oh, yeah, square a little looking, camera. Yeah. So he can target it. Yeah. Oh no, that's wicked. Yeah, that is pretty cool. <laughs> it's basically so this commentary has just turned into us geeking out, going, "Oh, that's cool! Oh, that's awesome!" Yeah, pretty but much. It, it's true. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Mm. No, you didn't. You're failing. <laughs> Hammer time. Do you do do do? <laughs> well, seeing as you did it. I'm going to put you on the moon with Kevin Spacey. And then you'll find space Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> well, he finds something, but it's not space Nazis. I tried to explain. Uh, the plot of um, Iron Sky and why it's amazing to someone the other the other day as well, and oh, yeah. it didn't go down well. I'm just like, yeah, I'm not really selling it because I'm like, well, basically, there's there's two astronauts that go to the go to the moon, and Nazis appear because they hid on the moon, and then they're amazed because one of the astronauts from America is black, and then they turn <laughs> in white, and then, really the, at true, which point I'm getting really weird looks, and I'm like, you know what, just watch it. Like Crimson Whiplash, probably. But the ex-wife, you say? I don't know why he just didn't shoot him with the minigun when he had his helmet open. It just yeah. would have been end of movie. All done. See, now we can't use his minigun at all. Now he doesn't even have a minigun. Yeah. That Crimson Dynamo suit is awesome, though. It I kind of wish he'd have painted it red, though, because that would have been cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, get pushed. Then again, uh, Tony fought the Iron Ur Man suit in the original. Yeah, the Iron Man guy, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which was bigger than the Crimson Dynamo whiplash suit thing, so. Yeah. Then again, Iron Ur Man, I'm pretty sure it, it had like an old used. Uh, yeah, it was uh, based on the prototype, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, but I mean, it's got the... Uh, Hame, Hame! Oh. No. Ah. no, I mean, it had the the uh, used arc reactor, didn't it? In yeah. The test. Um, I'm just trying to think of why Crimson Dynamo armor will be stronger. Because oh. he built his own arc reactor, he knows how to do it. Oh yeah, true. Where is my bird? Oh, because he built his with a self-destruct function. Mm-hmm. I will... I need my Dr. Pepper! Maybe if I fly around the world backwards fast enough, I can turn back time. I saw it in a movie once. <laughs> I'm not allowed to mention the guy who was in the movie because he's from a rival company. 
Fireworks. I bet she's busy shitting herself right now. <laughs> yeah, with spasm. Hang on. It didn't do too bad. Yeah. It kind of just saved everyone's life. Even though this is clearly on a green screen, it's not bad green screen. No. Is this the point where they finally snog? Probably. I think so. Because they were about to in the original film, weren't they? Mm Mm-hmm. There you go. Right. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> all, all of a sudden, the soup starts playing. Can't get a taxi or anything. So, yeah. That's one thing, though. Where the hell is War Machine in Avengers? Surely he should have helped. Well, apparently they're doing a tie-in prequel comic for Iron Man 3, which shows where he was. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, what's, what's that report up there? Yeah. What are they reporting on? Speaking of Avengers... Mm-hmm. It's for my eye only. Yeah, that map in the background, that's got a few interesting things on it as well. Little circles, one of which is in Africa, that's Black Panther. Mm-hmm. One's in the middle of the ocean, that's supposed to be where uh, either Namor is, or where Captain America is frozen. Um, There's one in New Mexico, that's Thor. Yeah. There's one in New York, that's Hulk. Yeah. Uh, one on the west coast, which is obviously Iron Man. So, there's a few, uh, few various points. Mm. Oh yeah, on the on the screen. Mm-hmm. You see? So yeah, but it's a news report. So is uh, Black Widow like hiding as a crew? Oh, sorry, I, I must have been mistaken then. Sorry, that's my mistake. Yeah, you see, just uh, in Europe there as well. Yeah, I believe I believe that's uh, like in, the Red Skulls hideout and stuff. Yeah, Did that's uh, like it's Norway, Sweden region that the yeah. circle was. So yeah. There you go. See. Mm. That'll obviously be where they found all the Hydra weapons mm-hmm. that they find on the uh, on the um, helicarrier in Avengers. Uh, yes. Highway to Hell. Nice. Yeah. When you blow me, do bear. I'm not a crook. Well, there we go. Mm. 
That's uh, that's Iron Man two. Obviously, we'll be sticking around for the post credits. Yeah, uh, clip. But uh, yeah, it's a nice little way to round off the movie. There, personally, I don't think it's as good as the first one. Mainly, as we point out all the way through, the fact that there seems to be an hour of fucking banging on about birds. Yeah, that is kind of a disadvantage. Uh, but um, bird is the word, as we know. Yeah, but um, like that's the bit that holds it down. Uh, the the bat the fight scenes and like the stuff with the drones and stuff is really cool. Yeah, but it doesn't need to be and, forty-five like, minutes of fucking around. No. And uh, the I th- I feel we should have explored the whole war machine thing a little bit more, but mm. oh, you said there's the prequel comic to Iron Man three that's going to explain where uh, where oh, really uh, was, yeah yeah um, so. so but yeah so next up is Thor which. We uh, this is the first one which had proper references to uh, the pre to the to the next film in inside the f- the main film, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Because, because um, Iron Man didn't uh, ve- well at the very end. It, it goes, just oh. it just had Nick Fury turning up talking about Avengers and then um, uh, Incredible Hulk. It, it just has Tony Stark turn up at the end, uh, like at the end before the. Cr- yeah, it was he like didn't even credits, have credits, yeah. It was like yeah, a mid-credits they, clip. Yeah, they, yeah, they didn't even have post-credits, did they not? No, it was uh, yeah. the mid-credits clip, and he yeah. ends up asking about, event, like, talking about the Avenger initiative. Yeah, this is the first one where he... the ball rocks, doesn't he? About, um, yeah. But this is the first one where they actually, like, mention it, uh, anything about it in the movie, because they're talking about Avengers well, initiative this... during the movie, and obviously... Um, Teasing Thor because uh, Coulson says, "Oh no, I've got a new mission down in New Mexico." Mm-hmm. Well, it was at this point he realised, you know, because obviously Iron Man and uh, and Hulk were just kind of um, they were experimenting with the idea. They were, yeah, they just wanted to see at if they could do. They, they realised yeah. they could. Yes, it was around Iron Man 2 they realised, okay, yeah, you know what, we will do an Avengers movie now that we've got all the rights to the various characters and stuff that we can yeah. do. An this movie this is kind of an team. interesting view of who they were thinking that because obviously with that map, seeing as it's mm-hmm. got um, circles over people that didn't appear in Avengers, they were thinking right, we'll put circles over here as teasers, and we'll just get as many characters from these circles as we can. Yeah, which is like well, we can obviously yeah we can obviously get these, but then they're like um, Black Panther, we'll try and get that, and if we don't get it for this one, we'll get it for one of the future ones. Mm-hmm. Obviously, um, the, with uh, Cap, Cap, they've got all the stuff. Um, uh, that's more hints towards Black Panther. What with his shield being made out of vibranium, and that being the main mm-hmm. export of yeah, Wakanda. Yeah, I was going to say I couldn't remember if it was Wakanda or Rwanda. <laughs> <laughs> and then Rwanda is a real place. Yes, so Wakanda. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but and then uh, obviously the, the red skull thing is the the hint to uh, I think the Atlantic one was probably because uh, you said it's the middle of the Atlantic Ocean right yeah so that's probably Namor yeah as if it was uh, if it was Cap it'd be more towards the North Pole surely yeah I, I noticed there is one in the Antarctic actually up near the top so yeah I think that's yeah the, uh, the Arctic that, you mean yeah sorry the Arctic yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Well, that just reminds me of watching a, a review of a, a comic based on, uh, like, as a sequel to The Thing. Mm-hmm. And, like, uh, at the end, a, um, a submarine pops up out of the ice underneath them. And it was like, oh, yeah, that's a good panel. That's all well and good. But they're in the Antarctic. The Antarctic is actually land. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, the submarine can't get there. Quiet, you. If it was the Arctic, though, it would be better. But then yeah. again, there's also like, uh, uh, wait, it. Oh, we'll talk about um, how Cap got there when we talk about Captain America, anyway. So it's yeah, it's fine. How many of the uh, 
the Marvel films are on Netflix. I think it's just Iron Man and Iron Man 2, isn't it? Uh, yes. Yeah, so when we do Thor and Cap, well, they uh, obviously have to do, you know, use DVDs or, you know, what have you. Through other means, but... Yeah. Just so we can get it synced properly. Yeah. I I, I still totally want to get the uh, the Blu-ray box set of... Like, of Avengers. Oh, the uh, the briefcase set that's coming out. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's the one to be getting. Yeah, it's still gonna be a while yet. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. we go. Yeah, in memory of Adam Goldstein. Yeah, it's the guy from the Beastie Boys because he was the guy who was playing the 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 DJ at the party. Why is that on for Iron Man 2, though? Because he died... Because he's it. He filmed Iron Man 2 and he died before it came out. I'm pretty sure the guy from Beastie Boys died, like, last year. No. You know, don't make me look it up. I'm looking it up. Oh, yeah. We're going to be coming up to the the end credits clip, so... Mm. MCA. He died this year. Yeah, did he? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. So we are New Mexico. I think it's one of them there UFOs. What's this? What what could be driving through the desert? Oh, it's a car. Wow. A hybrid car. (laughs) Land of Enchantment. Do you know what would have been a better hit, a little hint of it? Instead of him saying, oh yes, Land of Enchantment, if he, he should have said, like, what are you, what are you doing? And he's like, I can't tell you. He goes, oh, a journey into mystery then. <laughs> yeah, that would have been pretty awesome. Mm. My eye? Oh, a hammer. Hammer Man! Oh, I never noticed that at the end. The thunder, the thunder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that, that fact that it was the first every time we got to see uh, Mjolnir. Mjolnir, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's Adam Youch, uh the guy from... From, uh... From, uh... Fucking yeah, Beastie so, Boys. Yeah. It's my mistake, yeah. No, um, the guy... Yeah, uh, DJ AM is Adam Goldstein, yeah, which is the guy from, uh... From the Iron Man movie. Yes. He's, uh, he's worked with many, many people, apparently. So. Hmm. Yeah, he scratched on albums for Papa Roach, Madonna, Will Smith, and Shifty. As we all know, Shifty, apparently. Huh. So, uh, yeah. There we go. But, yeah, well, that was fun. So we learned about someone who'd be graveyard dead. Indeed, we yes, did. In this uh, episode of Attack of the 50 Foot Nerds, then. Well, that's the movie over. I hope you've all enjoyed it, as, uh, as you know, we enjoyed watching it. Yep. If you uh, want to get in touch with us, let us know what you thought of the commentary, or you have any suggestions of other films you'd like to hear us comment on in the future. Obviously, you know what to do. Get in touch. That's uh, on our Twitter, which is at 50footnerds. Uh, email us, 50footnerds at gmail.com. Or uh, get us on the Facebook, which is uh, facebook.com forward slash attack of the 50footnerds. In that case, for the show this week, then, my name is Tony Stark. And my name is I Want My Bird. <laughs> Geek out. I went everybody's heard about the bird. bird, bird, bird.
the nerd them in your ears then please follow us on twitter at at 50 foot nerds or email us anything except spam at 50 foot nerds at gmail.com well that was weird having a live audience <laughs> yes is she still there uh, she was talking to us on Twitter rather than on there, which is why you got the mention. Right, okay, because I haven't had Twitter open. Yeah, um, earlier she said her um, her uh, film kept going out of sync because her internet was shit. Oh balls! Oh well, you can watch you can watch it back with um, yeah, yeah, yeah with the files, Zoe. I got most of it. Holy crap! She oh, exists. She's dead. <laughs> My goodness.